Brothers tells the story of a United States Marine Corps captain who is missing in Afghanistan but is later presumed dead. Meanwhile, back home, his brother tries to help with his sister-in-law and his two nieces. But just as things were about to adjust back to normal, it is later revealed that all along, he is not dead, he is alive, but all of a sudden, things get bad. And that's what I said in my previous video. Now, here's the thing. I like this film because it doesn't have to be graphic, it doesn't have to be extremely shocking or, or downright violent like Saving Private Ryan, but this movie is more psychological in the case of war. And this is what I really like about it. They don't really show the graphic tortures that happen as Tobey Maguire's character, Sam Cahill, as he's held prisoner in Afghanistan. We don't see too much graphic impacts or scenes. It's all, we just, let's say, we just know what happens. And most of the focus is on Tobey Maguire's face when that scene's happening. He's just like, or stuff like that. He'll just turn away or, or sometimes he keeps his eyes open. It's pretty, it's pretty tense, pretty tense. And the way it depicts post-traumatic stress disorder in this film, you can't get any better with this one. This one really does capture the after effects of the trauma, t of the trauma, how traumatized Tobey Maguire's character is in this movie and how, you know, how shaking, how shivering he is f after returning home. And most, a lot of people who have post-traumatic stress disorder, especially if you're soldiers, you'd relate very well to this movie. And it's, it's very touching and it's, it's good to watch. If you're, well, it's not a family movie, let's put it at that. Sure, there's two daughters, there's two kids in it, and they're, they're the family-friendly part of the film. But it's mainly adult for multiple different reasons. What I like about this film also is the chemistry between Jake Gyllenhaal, Tobey Maguire, and Natalie Portman. All of them were just phenomenal. It was all great. And Sam Shepard, who plays um, Tommy, uh, Tommy's played by Jake Gyllenhaal, and his brother Sam is played by Tobey Maguire. Now, what I like about Sam Shepard is that he was just a great supporting role for this movie. He was really good. He's only in the movie for like, I don't know, maybe just a handful of scenes throughout the entire film, and yet he just kind of steals it just for being the wise old man. I'm surprised he's not on the list of wise old men for movies, believe it or not. So, how will I rate this? I will say this is nine, nine out of 10 film cameras. It's enjoyable, it's good to watch, especially for Remembrance Day. If you wanna see like a film that depicts the after effects of war, other films besides American Sniper, you might wanna try this one out first. So, that's it, that's my review for you. Thank you, Mr. Blues here for you.